hi, thanks for tuning in to Shine Bright Homeschool. I'm excited to have you here. If you're new to homeschooling, welcome. If you're experienced in homeschooling, I'm glad to have you stop by as well. I personally was homeschooled kindergarten through 12th grade, and I also started homeschooling my son back in 2020. So I'm here just to share tips with you about homeschooling, curriculum reviews, and I just wanna be here as a resource to help you in your homeschooling journey. If you're new, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell for notifications. Also click the like button. Leave me a comment and let me know what is your homeschool story. What types of tips and book reviews or curriculum reviews would you like to see on my channel so that I can maybe help you and many others find things that can be really helpful resources and tools for you and your homeschool family. Today I'm reviewing Masterbooks Elementary Geography and Social Studies. This is for fourth through sixth graders. It comes with two books, which is a children's atlas for the U.S., and then also a passport book. And I'm going to show you today what's inside both of these so you can get an idea if this is something that would work good for you and your child. I personally love these books. This is my second year using Masterbooks Geography and Social Studies, and I feel like there is a deep wealth of information, great pictures, great activity sheets and quizzes. I feel like this is a really good fit for our family and for my 11-year-old son. He loves to learn about different cultures and about different societies and what they do, what they eat, what language they speak. It really has been a great resource for our family. And so let's take a dive into these today and the teacher guide. So you can decide if you want to research these more for yourself and figure out if they will work for you. All right, so we're starting off with Passport to America here. Again, this is gonna cover all 50 states. So I'm gonna take you through some of them just to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like on the inside. So I really like this. This has a little passport right here. And it's gonna give you an opportunity to use it, kind of like a passport, which is super fun. My son has already started, as you can see. We've done all the way through up to Delaware. And so it gives you spots for all the different states. And I'm gonna show you where those stickers are here in a minute. So going through the book here, it's gonna give you kind of an example of what the different things are that they share in here information about the state quarters, the flags, the state motto, state stamps, all these different things that are really cool facts. It goes into the history of America, and then it goes into the different states. So this is starting out with Alabama. And then it really just pops on through each and every state. It gives um, interesting food, special food for each state right here. Obviously it has any main like national parks it talks about, it has really great pictures here. There are a lot of things in here that I've been loving to learn about as well. I really like that they show state license plates, that's really cool. If I haven't gotten to your state yet, I'm almost there, getting towards the end.
and there you have it. At the end, it talks about all the different states. In the back here is where you're gonna find all the different state flags, and then your child will be able to put them in that passport that was in the beginning of the book. All right, so next we have is the big children's atlas. I'm gonna try to get it all in my screen shot here. It is a very big book. It really adds to a little bit more about the government system, the land, American landscape, the roads. So as you can see, it does kind of recap some things like the state flag, like the state flower and the state bird. But it talks more about the population in this book. It talks about the preambles for each state. Also major events that would happen in each state. It gives more dates for particular events that happen particular places and where they're located on the map. So they actually get to see the map of each state in the Atlas book. Honestly, I can't tell you which of these books I like more. I really like both of them. They feel they both feel unique, although they do share some of the same information. I feel like they're really well done in all the information that they share and just how they make it jump off pages for you as the teacher and make it easy for you to teach, but also for the kids just to be very intrigued by all the different pictures. And if it's your state or if you have someone living in one of these states or if you ever want to visit a certain place in one of these states, it just makes it nice to be able to see the map and kind of know where you are or where the places that you're wanting to visit within that state. It definitely makes me want to travel all of the United States just to see these beautiful landmarks, different historical locations as well as try just some of the different foods. All right, and in the back it just has a glossary of different geological terms and American holidays as well. All right, let's look here at the teacher's guide. So again, this is for fourth through sixth grade. It does have the lesson schedule, worksheets, quizzes, and your answer key. Again, I have been using this already, so you'll see some notes in there and some pages taken out. And then it has your different assignments for which day and what you need to do. Some days we combine if they're easier pages. It just depends on what we're doing. But I like how they have it broken down. And so you do reading for the atlas and the passport separately if you want or on the same day. And then you have the worksheets as well. So here's a sample of one of the worksheets. This one's for Florida. It gives you word scrambles. It also lets you color each flag and then you can draw, choose to draw the state bird or state flower or something else about the state. It gives you the option to look into different information about the state, like the state music if you want. Also gives you some recipes as well for each state. So you can look at the state food that was listed in the passport book. You can actually try the recipes here. They give you crossword puzzles as you answer questions for each state. Again, word searches. So pretty much this is the same theme throughout all the activity pages. And then in the back here you have your quizzes and it'll just give you instructions as to what each quiz is asking. It does tie in state capitals. This one's more of a fill in the blank quiz. And so it just kind of changes it up. Some quizzes are more about the state capitals, others are, are more about the fill in the blanks. And back here's your answer key. 
Well, that's it. Please let me know if this video helped you. If you really like this Masterbooks curriculum, if you've used it before, or maybe if you have maybe some things that you don't really care for about it. We all are in different places and different stages with our children, so we each have to find out what really works best. This is a place where you are welcome to share and comment on things that have worked for you and things that haven't, so other parents can hop on and kind of get feedback. I think it's really important. And share this video with any new homeschool families that you know are trying to seek out some resources and some reviews on things. Again, click like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications so you will know when I release my next video. Thank you again so much for tuning in today, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.